How bad was the makeup? Bad, as in, I would rather sh on my hands and clap than wear that makeup out. On my hands and clap. On my hands and clap. <laughs> Hi friends, it's your girl, Nella Rose. And your girl, India Polak. Do we really need to say anything else? This is Pretty Little Things Pink Courtroom Season 3. All right. Please be seated. Court is now in session. Officer, can you please hand me today's case? Thank you. So, we are here today in the pink courtroom where the claimant has brought the defendant for dissatisfaction with their service. The claimant is requesting the defendant pays them their requested refund in full. Claimant, can you state your name for the record, please? My name is Jessica. Defendant, can you state your name for the record, please? My name is Cheyenne. Before we get into it, we will need you to take the pink courtroom oath. All right, so Jessica, can you please repeat after me? Cheyenne, please repeat after me. I, Jessica. I, Jessica. Swear to tell the truth. Swear to tell the truth. And, and nothing but the truth. And nothing but the truth. In the pink courtroom. In the pink courtroom. No, no matter, matter how, how messy, messy it, it may be. be. No matter how messy it will be. Oh, she ready. Mm -mm, she ready. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's hear your opening statements. So I'm here today because she owes me money. So it's my birthday recently, so I booked in to get my makeup done. I was going big, having a big party. Me and the girls got to come looking cute. So I booked for me and all my girls to get the makeup done by Cheyenne through Instagram. Please tell me why it comes today. I am belling out her line. She's not answering 10 minutes, 20 minutes, an hour comes by. She ain't even here. No apology, no text message. I was even texting her the night before. She ain't telling me why she's not here. Comes two hours later now, and it's not even her that turns up. It's some next bitch calling herself her makeup assistant, and she does Lord knows what on my face. But let me tell you, it was not the makeup that I asked for, or even anywhere near the standard that we agreed on. So of course I was not gonna pay for that. So I asked for a refund, and she had the audacity to charge me a cancellation fee. So I'm here to get my money back. This has happened to me. This is, yeah, this is really personal. It's like, quite personal. Uh, do you want your opening statement or? <laughs> no. Firstly, it's actually written in the small print that I don't actually need to attend my client. Someone else can attend on behalf of me according to my company rule. So if she had read the policy, she would have known. And excuse me, she's actually not an assistant. I've trained her for the past two years and she's actually quite professional. And I had a family emergency, so that's a valid reason why I could not make it. Can I just say something? Yeah. This has happened to me. Um, clearly, I'm still not over it. First of all, Miss Ma'am. Yeah. If I book Arrogant Tay to do my hair, I want Arrogant Tay to show up. I don't want um, Arrogant Fionton showing up to, to do my hair. I paid for him specifically, him and his blessed hands, to come and lay this wig. What makes you think that you've become now the directory of all makeup artists? Oh, they're gonna book me, but I'm gonna send my minions. What makes you think that she didn't want you specifically? Because she should have mentioned it. I know damn well, I know. You, you, say, you should have mentioned it. Do you know what you sound like? Ah, oh, why didn't you tell me you was cheating on me? You didn't ask. <laughs> Literally. That's what it's getting. And bearing in mind, we were messaging on Instagram. She was telling me, oh, I can't you know, wait to see you. Know, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt. Let's ask some more let's, questions let's to get, get more this. context. Let's, let's get more context. It. So, Jessica, when you booked Cheyenne, did she state that it was gonna be specifically her assistant or anything like that? So she didn't state specifically who was coming to the appointment, but as I said, because we were messaging back and forth, she didn't once mention who was showing up, and I just assumed it was her. On her page, it's all about her. I don't see anything to do with assistance, so obviously I assumed like anybody else would. How much did you pay for your makeup? So there was 10 of us girls, so it was £600 fee initially, but obviously I paid a £30 deposit for all the heads, so I paid £300 up front with £300 left to pay, but obviously I refused that. If you had looked at my page, actually, it actually says that I have many makeup artists under me, so... So, Shan, what's the name of your, your beauty business? Face Slayer. She didn't slay, let me tell you that. Okay, so tell me about this family emergency and why you didn't turn up, because I, I know, like, things happen in life and then... She actually booked me on Wednesday for a Friday's event. Right? And initially I was going to make it because I had nothing that day. Yeah. However, I had a family emergency and I don't want to discuss interpersonal details as it's a family emergency, but I did send someone. I did my duty as a makeup artist and I professionally trained them under me. It wasn't looking very professional on the day. Order, order. So why did you, when did you realise that Sharon wasn't coming? Okay, so like I said, when two hours had gone by and someone actually knocked on the door, 
I'm already pissed, as you can imagine. Open the door and it's not even Cheyenne. It's some next assistant coming in. You know, if I was that late and wasn't Cheyenne, I would be coming in saying, sorry. Yeah, but you didn't let her no, speak. No, no, no. You did not was let her there? speak. Was she there? Well, you did no, not let her speak. She's calling me, crying was on the there? phone. Like one at a time. Yeah, calling you, crying on the phone, but you couldn't call me. So you answered her call. Cool. How bad was the makeup? Bad, as in, I would rather sh on my hands and clap than wear that makeup out. Like, it was bad. It was bad. <laughs> I mean, did you get a refund? Cheyenne, did you refund Jessica? Anything? I charged her a £250 cancellation fee. Uh, you, you charged her how much? £250 cancellation fee. From, from a what? What was the fee altogether? It was £600, so she paid a £300 deposit and she had to pay the rest as well. £300 for a deposit? Because it was 10 people. And then a £250 cancellation fee. £30 per head. You did two faces on the day, if we can call it that. Well, your behaviour was atrocious and all the other nine girls with you... Guys, were... guys, 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 guys. We'll we get on to that. Yeah, you know, we we're, will we're get very used to the girls that. bickering in the court, so let's just, let's just run up the receipts. Uh, officer, could we have the evidence for court today, please? Thank you. So, Jessica, we're going to be looking at your evidence first. OK, so this is... An appointment confirmation from the makeup artist. Soft glam for 10 people, so I'm guessing this is the deposit of 300 pounds. So this is basically proof that you've paid. Yeah. Next piece of Can evidence. Can we belong? So we've got Cheyenne asking Jessica for the address to her appointment. To me, it sounds like she's ready to turn up to, to my house to slay. She said, hey girl, thank you so much for booking with me. I just wanted to reach out ahead of your booking to get the address as you selected the mobile service. Hey sis, I'm super gassed for you to do my makeup. Sure girl, this is the address. Uh, uh, baiting it out. Judge that. This is DBA. So yeah, so you gave her the address straight away. Yeah, and see she how she said her. she was, you know, looking forward yeah. to seeing me. You know, you never said, oh, Oz. And can I, can I just say, Shania, just from, hey girl, thank you so much for booking with me. Yeah. I just wanted to reach out mm -hmm. to get the address as you selected the mobile service. It's giving, thanks for reaching out to me, sis. Yeah. Drop me the pin and I'm gonna pull up and slay your face. Yeah. Yeah, it is my company, like I said, it is with me. A third piece of evidence from you, Jessica? Yeah, that's the makeup that she did on my face. Oh, where's this picture? <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> Electric chair. <laughs> And that was meant to be birthday glam, cute, party. This is birthday this makeup. Is, yeah, that's birthday, birthday glam. This is the birthday makeup. This is the birthday glam they talk about. <laughs> Why did you post like that? <laughs> makeup done by Simi. Is, is this your assistant? Not my assistant. An actual anyway. This is somebody that you trained. Mm. But by the way, she was put under a lot of distress, yeah? Because of her and her friends. Duress couldn't make me do that so much <laughs> I mean, no one's ever complained about her work or my work. I'm complaining. I'm, I'm complaining about this that's in front of my eyes. OK, Cheyenne, do you have any evidence? Because it's really not looking good, my love. My testimonials and Google reviews. You know, Google reviews can be edited. As in, you can write them yourself and have different accounts. As in, mum and dad. Yeah, relax. Face Slayer, 25 reviews, five stars. All right. You know, a month ago, three weeks ago, we've got some Pretty decent reviews. So, what else do you have as evidence for the court? I bought Simi. Oh, the oh. makeup artist. The makeup artist. Yeah, then bring she her in. Be... Round of applause, Simi, everybody. <laughs> Why is it gonna be one of our sisters <laughs> doing this? Where's the get, get the oath? State your name for the record, please. I'm Simi. Okay, so can you repeat after me? Say, I Simi. I Simi. Swear to tell the truth. Swear to tell the truth. And nothing but the truth. And nothing but the truth. In the pink courtroom. In the pink courtroom. No matter how messy it may be. No matter how messy it may be. How long have you been a makeup artist for Cheyenne? So I've been doing makeup myself for four years, but I met Cheyenne two years ago. And yeah, she's just been giving me work whenever. You know, at what point, when was it that you got the call from Cheyenne that she needed some cover? So she called me at 9am on the day but I didn't see the call until 10. The booking was for 12 and it takes me two hours to get there, so at least I, I showed up. See me, why you do that girl's face like that? She looked good. I mean, for the girl, that's the best it could come out. Like, Are you calling her ugly? She's not ugly, but if you think she looks ugly, that's, that was I, me. I don't put words no, 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 no. to say that. Wait, now, because I actually think I'm losing it. See me, come on, talk to me. Do you genuinely feel like you've done a good job? I feel like with this girl, that's the best job I could do. You deserved it. 
<laughs> okay, okay, so let's ask you some questions now, yeah? So when you showed up instead of Cheyenne, like, what was Jessica and her friend's reactions? So when I first got there, I thought I was at the wrong place because everyone was giving me side eye. There was no hi, hello. What was you hello. expecting? What was you expecting? I thought I was at the wrong place. I thought, am I gonna get jumped? Let me explain to you what happened, babe. Sister to sister, Jessica and her brethren thought, think that they've been catfished because they've seen Cheyenne. Cheyenne is a makeup artist, right? And they've seen her, they've seen her page, they've seen her work, and they've seen her on her page. Now, you showed up looking like me and India, and they're thinking, Blood, where's Cheyenne? But they could say hi. When you've been catfished, you don't want to greet the person. You, you, you say, who the f is this? It's called being in a state of shock. But they could still be respectfully in shock. I know them. So when I was doing her makeup, you know when you do makeup, it's a process. Mm -hmm. You start, it's like you're baking a cake. Right? You put the egg, you put the flour, you put the milk, right? I was putting the ingredients together. She's like, oh, you don't do it this way, you don't do it that way. But do you not trust the process? Um, or do you think this cake's gonna be great before you put it in the oven? Um, we've actually seen the results of this cake. Yeah. Um, it's not delicious, it's not yummy. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, you say, ah, you have to bake it, ingredients mix it. We, we've seen the outcome, babes, and it's, it's, it was a little bit scary. I'm not doubting your skill. Because she's bad vibes, I just feel like that's what manifested the makeup. Oh, so it's sabotage. So we've heard it now. This is a client that's already paid you to post, ah, oh, your bad vibes, so I'm gonna do. You now. probably ruined her makeup on purpose. I went to the toilet, yeah? When I come back, she's taken my brush, right? Let me show you what she did to this brush, right? Security, security, can you check this evidence before we even have a look at it to make sure it's okay? This is evidence that was not cleared in the pink courtroom. Mm -mm. Is it good? Okay, show us the brush, thank so you. So this is what she's done to my makeup brush. Well, what's, what's happened here? It looks, it looks mauled. Can you see this is not like a normal shape? I'm seeing her with scissors, she's saying, oh, your work isn't right, but... <laughs> Jessica, why you do that to that girl brush? <laughs> Listen, she had two brushes for her whole face. I had to do setting, start cutting shapes. I had to make it into angle brush. You know from this brush, you It looks like a dog bit it. <laughs> like, you, she was in the toilet, you just ripping it out. It's okay. If, you, if somebody's offering you a service that you don't like, you, cli you kindly ask them to leave. We do not vandalise other people's belongings. And I wasn't trying to vandalise, I was trying to make the best out of what we had. She came with lack of equipment. So why do you think that Jessica was unhappy with her makeup then? I just feel like she would never be happy. She's just one of those people that is kind of like, I'm asking her, how would you like me to do your eyes? Do whatever. But you know when somebody asks you to do whatever, you do soft glam. There was nothing soft about that glam. Are you covering for her? I swore, you saw my hand was there. So why are you smiling? Can I not be happy? Okay, that, that's all from you, Simi. Thank you very much, thank you very much. You, you can leave the stand. With your plastic bag, with your brush. You know, I think we've heard enough and you guys need to kind of you need to save yourself somehow. So me and Judge Nella, we're gonna ask you for some closing statements. Yeah. Jessica, do you have anything to close on? Yeah, I'm gonna just keep it short and simple because the facts are there. The makeup was shit, the service was shit, the communication was shit, so I'm not paying for shit. And on top of that, I'd actually like some compensation for the inconvenience of the day. Cheyenne, anything to close yourself off? I don't say much either. She's purely disrespected my staff and took the piss, absolute piss, and I don't know why I'm here. We are now going to deliberate. I'm taking this very personal because this has happened to me yeah. one time and I've never let it go because it will ruin your whole it can't day. Birthday. It's not. It's not small. It, inconvenience. Inconvenience. Be. It was giving pantomime. It was giving scary. Fancy dress. Yeah, that was actually very scary. No, but you can never ruin someone's big day. Yeah, you can't ruin someone's big day. That's electric chair because someone once ruined my big day. Yeah. I don't even want to think about it. Oh my God. I'm lucky I can do my own makeup because or else I would have just been like. Yeah. And it was like, oh, sorry, babe. Sorry, babe. I think it's time that we hear from our lovely jury. So jury, underneath your seats, you will have a paddle and it will say guilty or not guilty on each side and you guys will have to decide what you believe. So in the case of Jessica versus Cheyenne, do you find Cheyenne guilty or not guilty for the alleged refusal of a refund? You go to jail. Uh, oh, 
the only boy. Oh, uh, you don't even know anything about makeup. Put your paddle down. Why are you even here? What's, what, name, me, name me two highlighters. Bronze. Brown. You close it up and you never open it again. Just in case you think our sentencing is unfair, look at your peers. Here, thank you. So, we, the judges of the pink courtroom, find Cheyenne guilty of wrongful stuff. Sometime last year, this actually happened to me. Um, so I'm extremely triggered. I need all service providers out there to understand that they cannot mess with people's birthdays, with people's weddings, even if you're a bridesmaid to people's red carpet. If people are booking you for a service, it's because yeah. they cannot do it themselves. And if people are booking you for a service, they're booking you for the experience and they want to feel special on their special day. First things first, we're gonna sentence you with some time away. India, Judge India, can you tell her how long she'll be spending in jail? Now, you know, when it comes to people's big days, we find that very important here in the so courtroom. You could have saved yourself some time, Chan, if you were a little bit more remorseful. Yeah, you don't, but you don't give a heck. You wasn't, you wasn't very sorry. You didn't really care. No. You didn't really try to offer any sort of compensation, maybe an alternative. So for that, we will be sentencing you to 20 years in state 20 prison. 20 years in jail? How can, how can you cancel someone's birthday makeup to then give them birthday makeup? Like, also, as a further repercussion to you spending 20 years in jail for ruining a girl's big day, we need you to delete your company from company's house. We don't want to see um, faces slain up and slain up ever again. Dissolve it. Yeah. Delete it from uh, um, company's house, from GoDaddy, from everywhere, delete. We also want to do you in for identity fraud. You advertised yourself and then I basically show it up. But we're not done there. Miss Jessica, don't think we are finished with you because yeah. we are yeah. not. For the vandalization of Miss Simmy's brush, we will be sentencing you to six years community service. Yeah, where well, you'll be doing some knitting and learning how to take care of people's products. Court is adjourned. Get them out of here. Well, you guys have heard it here on the pink courtroom. Gosh, Judge Anna, that was messy. 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 Well, guys, if you guys want to see more of pink courtroom, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to Pretty Little Things YouTube channel, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye. I think the girls resonated with me today. They knew how I felt. You can't ruin a girl's birthday makeup and give her birthday makeup. So I'm happy with how it went, and yeah, they got me. I thought I was going to be let off light today. I mean, I would have appreciated to be let off, you know, with nothing else, but I, I can do what they gave me. I, I can handle it. I ain't going to lie, I'm not really happy about it, but I know when I step out of this courtroom, I'm still going to get jobs, so it's all right. I don't think I'm going to delete my account, so. I'm happy that she got her punishment, but I don't think it was enough, to be honest. Her sorry attitude, she deserves more, to be honest. Why Manchester? Easy pickings. Easy pickings? Easy pickings. She's talking about women. Light work. In the thing courtroom, you want to talk about women like dirt? <laughs> No, I didn't mean it like that. I'm I didn't wait for sentencing. Easy. God damn.